Hi, I'm Julie Herman with Creek Currents. We're here today at Kanishka's Gastro Pub to try a new take on old world cuisine. Come on in. I'm here today with executive chef and owner of Kanishka's Gastro Pub, Paramita Roy. Paramita, tell us a little bit about what was your inspiration behind the restaurant. So um, my inspiration, um, you know, lies goes way behind. So it started all uh, from my Calcutta days, you know, and from my grandfather's house, um, a huge house of entertainment. You know, I was born and brought up with scotch and beer. So watching him uh, cook and entertain for, you know, every single weekend. Uh, like guests coming in and every single festival locations like 100 200 people dining that's what originated my inspiration you know for dream of opening my own restaurant um, and I gradually I grew up and you know and had my kid I mean my um, biggest inspiration was my um, 11 year old son who just turned 12 whom who I named my restaurant after um, you know he was my biggest support of you know mama you got to you know you always talk about opening the restaurant, everybody, you know, been working a lot towards it, you know, traveled around the world, you know, learned about all the cuisine, you know, but you've just got to, you know, step into it and do it. And um, you got to do it now before you get too old. And that word, those words just uh, struck me. And then right after I came back and, um, you know, I just didn't stop from anything. I just, you know, made all my you know, models like financial models, operational plans, you know, whatever I need to pull together, like investments, everything, you know, this has to be made into a reality. So that's wonderful. With all of that inspiration and all of the research and prepara preparations that you did, what made you choose Walnut Creek as a destination for your restaurant? You know, great um, thought. So, and I moved back to um, Bay Area in uh, 2008 from Manhattan and uh, I, used to, I used to travel here a lot and I just love the downtown you know the people and the ambiance and you know the shops and it's like the perfect you know it's like the all-in-one contained like a big city in one you know like a neighborhood like a small downtown just love the you know warmth you know my heart was you know in Walnut Creek mm -hmm. and it's like and I just you know kept on just like okay my kids also like you know they were in Walnut Heights area and so like in my you know I would be able to close with my family being able to serve the community you know the community has been so helpful you know there's so like let me just bring something with all my heart and passion and get this going like a hometown first um, and so this you know apparently this location came into right on spot and just immediately you know worked out so I understand this is the original fire station for the city of Walnut Creek in the early 1920s Tell me more about how you chose this space. Sure. Um, so my uh, commercial real estate agent, he was well connected with the landlord. And when he first introduced to me, you know, and I, it's, you know, he wanted to know about the concept of the restaurant, the food, and, you know, and while talking about it, you know, he loved that as well as he also, you know, loved talking about the history behind this, um, you know, the restaurant location because he wanted to, you know, give it the space to someone that, you know, he would have a great relationship of trust and you know the both ways you know going in someone stepping into the restaurant location and that's when he shared about the history that I came to know that there, you know this is to be a fire station uh, you know back in the uh, 19 early 1920s and you know and knowing that it was you know it was a like, wow that's you know that's a great and apparently I came to know even my you know little twins you know when I shared this story with my twins with my eight-year-old twins they learned this in their uh, classroom. You know, it's apparently, you know, how you know how funny that, you know, your little kids get to learn from their school teachers and, you know, parents get to learn from little kids about, you know, this little, uh, you know, interesting history about Walnut Creek, you know, growing up. So as an artist, I have to ask about all the amazing art that you have on the walls here. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on there? Yes. So, um, you know, I have a friend. Um, her name is Joanne Bennett. And um, this is before the restaurant was opening. Um, I was in search for artists, you know, for the opening uh, night. So um, to be able to showcase, you know, the paintings or whether it would be photography, 
um, and she approached uh, approached me. You know, if you, if you could, um, you know, she could be able to do a series for me. So my vision was, you know, for the first take to bring in a, you know, fusion of global, you know, catwalk fashion. Mm -hmm. And I gave her the pitch, and I, you know, and she shared with me some samples. And you know we both worked together, and then she came up with a you know like couple of pieces, and I just simply okay, it just clicked me. Okay, this is it. This has to be on my opening night of Kanishkas. So then she drew the entire series of connecting you know one pieces to another, you know that connects the you know the global um, you know the culture of fashion, like the our catwalk fashion, and this which also ties to you know the global cuisine with Indian flavors. And you know it's like a bit of pop art. So Julie, are you excited to try some of my food? Absolutely. Okay, great. Like you know, so what I like to present is uh, you know some of my most popular dishes that all our diners just pray for. We have the lamb sliders and the street food bites. So our, so here's a shikampuri lamb sliders. So it's a Superior Farms uh, ground lamb, and it's finished off with some herb spices. Um, it's got some dash of, you know, minty and cilantro flavor, some delicate spice and finished off like just about medium on the grill. And it's uh, wrapped up in uh, flaky Indian flatbread and it's, um, got some arugula, hot and sweet tomato aioli, got some uh, coriander uh, mint chutney that I make it in-house with some shoestring onions and it's served with uh, baby mixed greens, uh, tomato um, salad with the roasted cumin champagne vinaigrette. This looks fantastic. I haven't eaten all day, so. And uh, this is our street food plate, which we recently introduced about you know a few weeks ago. And it's you know we have we have a flight night, which is Thursdays. It's, it's becoming very popular. It's everything about flights: beer flights, wine flights, and street food flights. So the best way to enjoy this progression is um, you know starting off with the what we call in Bengali dahi puchka. So it's a puffed wheat shell stuffed with the potatoes, roasted black chickpeas. You know, topped up with a tamarind date chutney and a tempered yogurt sauce with um, mustard seeds and fresh curry leaves, mm. and topped up with some cucumbers. Uh, next progression is the um, semolina crusted prawn fritter with a mango sauce with some fresh scallions. And this is a croquette of our week, which is a beetroot, carrot, and potato topped up with the aioli. And some of uh, my, you know, like street style spices that I just try to bring in from Calcutta. So the last progression um, is the chicken tikka barbecue uh, skewers. You know, it's got to finish up with a little spiciness. It's finished up with a chili mango glaze with a pickled ginger onions. And please go ahead and enjoy. And the best way um, that we uh, suggest our diners is to enjoy this with our beer flights. Uh, so a flight for a flight. Nice. So here's our Belgian beer flight. So it starts off with a alagash white, a duval, alagash curio, and this is our sour beer, which is a tart of uh, darkness. So then when we try these, do we try this yes. food with this beer and so on, like we went through it? Yes, absolutely. The suggested pairing would be um, the alagash uh, white would go great with the dahi puchka all with this so you can just go with the progression wonderful yeah <laughs> do you pick these up and eat them with your hands you can pick this up exactly that's best okay. these look fantastic yes really good all righty so i'm gonna try these yeah now. the best way to have this yeah you know just take one and just the whole thing in the your whole mouth. thing in your yes, mouth at that, once. That's the best way you can, you can enjoy it. <laughs> All right, right. You know, that's what I ask my diners too. Cheers! Cheers! I'm go yeah. For it. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. So the um, last uh, suggested flight, which is the um, tart of darkness, which is a sour beer. Um, you know, it would go great as a suggested pairing, specifically with the croquette of the week, just for the beet, carrot, and the potato. Um, so. You know, please enjoy. And uh, then I would, you know, also suggest having a great glass of Pinot Noir that would pair up very well with our Shakampuri lamb sliders. It's got the notes of, you know, um, raspberry, some strawberry flavor. 
it's got a bright, you know, like a, you know, dark, you know, reddish, and it's from a Sonoma County Pinot Noir. These look fantastic. Yeah. So thank you so much for hosting us. The food was fantastic. The pairings were really wonderful. I've really enjoyed myself here this afternoon. How can our local people find out more about you? Thank you um, for joining us today at Kanishka. So I would love to have uh, you know people come to our website, uh, kanishkasgastropub.com. So it's just um, K-A-N-I-S-H-K-A-S, gastropub.com all together and where we all do all our you know, blast out news, just got the feeds from all the social media, and it's got the menus, open table, you know, what's coming, events, weekly events, and you know, and, and also get in contact with me with any uh, private events on catering. Perfect, sounds great, thank you. Thank you.